I'm down here on one of my Kansas farms today. We're filling up some boss buck feeders with some protein feed. You know, I see a lot of guys concentrating on feeding their deer herd, supplemental feed like protein, things like that, uh, you know, through the spring and summer months, which isn't a bad thing at all. It's actually a good thing. But I see a lot of guys that don't really think about feeding when the deer need it the most. And that is through the late winter months, you know, January, February, March, especially here in the Midwest. It's the coldest it can be right now. Today is actually kind of a, a fluke day. We got some beautiful weather today for the middle of February. Uh, but you know, right now, a lot of times it's extremely cold. January was really cold this year. We had negative temperatures for several days in a row. We had a ton of snow. Uh, the brows in the woods, there's not much left. If you plant food plots, your food plots by now are probably getting pretty picked over if you don't have a ton of acres of them. Your agriculture fields are getting picked over as well, especially if your farmers or you or your neighboring farmers put cattle out on their stocks, on their corn, their beans, their milo, things like that. There's just not a ton of food out there for your deer herd. So supplementing them is something that can be extremely important. Uh, you might have bucks that are run down from the rut. Your does are probably gonna be kind of run down by now from being chased around by those bucks. Uh, most of your does right now are pregnant, they're carrying. So, you know, if you can help them out a little bit with a really nutritional supplemental feed, uh, you might help them get through that pregnancy, help them have a good birth uh, in the spring, you're gonna help them lactate better. And as far as your bucks go, you're actually going to build them back up get them, put some fat on them, get their muscles built back up. This time of year, they can be really run down from just being crazy during the rut and help them grow to their fullest potential now, get them healthy now so they can grow to their fullest potential when it gets to the time for them to start putting on those big velvet racks. There's a few other reasons that I really enjoy supplemental feeding this time of year as well. Um, and number one being, I've got a trail camera, stealth cam back here behind me on a tree, monitoring this feeder so I can see what bucks made it through the season, what deer I might be able to hunt next year. Uh, I can see when they're dropping their sheds. Funny enough, there's actually a shed back here behind the camera next to the pond. This deer probably came down here, got a drink, was coming up here to the feeder, dropped his antler there. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few more around here. When you have a constant source of food right here, a constant source of water back here behind me, I've even got a mineral lick right here as well, you have everything a deer needs right here, and you're going to probably find quite a few sheds in this general area. Uh, that's another thing I will say about these boss bucks that I really like. These 350s can be moved really easy, and this time of year, I move them to locations like this. I've got bedding back here behind me. I've got this pond right here, and then I've got food uh, as a food plot and some standing corn I left, had the farmer leave me out here. So these deer are bedding back here. They're funneling through here. They can get a drink, they can get some protein, they can lick on some mineral, they can head out to the food plots or the grain fields out here. And it's a perfect scenario uh, for these deer to be in low stress. That's the biggest thing you want in the wintertime is low stress on your deer herd. You wanna build them back up, not tear them down. So in a nutshell guys, supplementing your deer herd through the winter months definitely has a lot of benefits to it. Number one, you're building your entire herd back up. You're going to make them reach their fullest potential heading in to the spring and summer months. You can monitor your deer herd on a trail camera here on this feeder. You can see what bucks made it through the hunting season. And number three, which is kind of a favorite for me, uh, especially now that I have little kids that like to walk around the woods, I can come down here and most likely because of everything I've done, holding a lot of deer here on this property, we're probably going to pick up a lot of shed antlers, which is going to, in return, be a lot of fun for myself and my family. Uh, you know, I've been supplemental feeding now for probably eight to 10 years, and we have seen some really amazing results with that. Uh, just really healthy bucks and really healthy deer herd in general. Uh, you know, one funny thing I'll tell you here quick, uh, the guy that does my meat processing for me, uh, every year he jokes with me and says that the deer that my family brings in are always some of the most healthy and best looking deer that he processes through the entire year. So that really makes me smile and uh, 
it, it really makes all of this worth it for me to know that my deer herd is extremely healthy. You know, these deer, these whitetails mean a ton to me. Growing whitetails and managing whitetails is a huge passion. So, uh, you know, supplementing, feeding them, food plots, all everything that I do, it's all worth it in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys learned something from it. Until next time, guys, God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.